Currently Kirkland, your source for city news and events in the community. With Pam Jardine at the news desk. Stay up to date with weekly news reports and what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Pam. Welcome to Currently Kirkland, where every week you can engage with your community by discovering the latest developments in, around, and about your city. I'm Pam Jardine. Hansel and Gretel, Donnie and Marie Osmond, Karen and Richard Carpenter, brothers and sisters who may have inspired us through literature, music, and entertainment. Currently Kirkland would like to introduce you to another inspirational brother and sister team, Maureen Browning and Dean Dino Harrison. Their inspiration has changed the lives of those with special needs, the volunteers that support them, and most importantly, each other. That's right. That's right. Through her involvement with the Special Olympics, Maureen saw a gap in the social network of the participants, and she and a group of friends began to organize activities for people with special needs. Well, the motivation was obviously my brother, right. and uh, I've always been involved with him and the Special Olympics, but as he got older, he no longer wanted to run, say, track and field. So I was trying to just build some friendships for him and um, just give them something social to do. The more activities they planned, the more people wanted to be involved. The commitment of Maureen and her family of friends resulted in Friendship Adventures, an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization dedicated to enriching the quality of life for people with developmental disabilities in the greater Puget Sound area. The organization is based in Kirkland. North Kirkland Community Center and Friendship Adventures kind of formed a partnership and uh, we use their facility, oh, maybe eight times a year for dances and um, bingo nights, karaoke nights, whatever we can muster, we, you know, put together a variety of activities. Through her efforts and those of Friendship Adventures, Maureen was recently selected as one of five winners in Washington State to be considered to receive the National Jefferson Award. The award is named after Thomas Jefferson, who, among many achievements, authored the Declaration of Independence, served as the third president of the United States, and founded the University of Virginia. Created 30 years ago, the Jefferson Award recognizes individuals who exemplify work in community service and is often referred to as the Nobel Prize for Public Service. Through popular vote by viewers of a local TV show, one of the five Washington winners has been selected to attend the National Award Ceremony in Washington, D.C. in June. Although it's not Maureen, she had this to say about being nominated. It's quite an honor. And the other four people and I that were nominated, are, I was very impressed with each and every one of them. It's, they really put a lot of time in their chosen community service. As for the future of Friendship Adventures? I would like to see Friendship Adventures continue to grow. There's still a huge population that's underserved or not served at all, who are isolated, stuck at home, and we just want to keep drawing more people out, involve them in community activities. We'd eventually like to start some kind of day program so those who don't have jobs have a place to go. And as for this brother and sister duo, that's the whole story. That's the whole story. The whole story. <laughs> That's right. That's right. At this week's city council meeting, Dr. Chip Kimball, superintendent, Lake Washington School District, presented the state of the district. He highlighted that students are achieving, that come fall of this year, the district will have four-year high schools, and that much of the district's success is because of the community support it receives. Kids achieve in our district. We have a 95% graduation rate. Uh, we have 70% of our kids go on to college or university. Um, uh, kids are doing well. We have some of the largest AP um, uh, numbers in the state. Um, we have high, some of the highest SAT numbers in the state. So kids do well in this system. Following his presentation, the City Council honored Dr. Kimball with a proclamation recognizing him for being a visionary and champion of education. A proclamation of the City of Kirkland honoring Dr. Chip Kimball as a visionary and champion of education in the Kirkland community. And whereas Dr. Kimball has been a champion of the use of technology in education, ensuring students gain the 21st century skills needed for careers in technology, an industry that is increasingly important to the economy of Kirkland, and whereas under Dr. Kimball's leadership, Lake Washington School District has been the highest performing large school district in the state, and now for, therefore, 
Uh, Joan McBride, Mayor of Kirkland, on behalf of the Kirkland City Council and community, do hereby honor Dr. Chip Kimball for his years of exceptional leadership, vision, and service to the students and families of Kirkland, signed this first day of May 2012. Joan McBride, Mayor. Kimball leaves the district on June 30 to become superintendent of the Singapore American School. So the reason I'm going to Singapore is for us to do more than just talk rhetorically about how to make sure that kids are globally competitive. I believe that I need to, I need to experience it viscerally so that at some point I can come back and help with these experiences in a global environment, help us as Americans understand how to remain competitive. In February, the school district's board of directors unanimously voted to hire Dr. Tracy Pierce, who has been serving as the district's deputy superintendent. Good news for the city and citizens. The Standard & Poor's Rating Services affirmed its rating of the city's outstanding water and sewer revenue bonds. The city got the highest credit score from Standard & Poor's, AAA. City utilities issued debt in the form of revenue bonds to support capital projects such as replacement of water and sewer lines. The AAA rating represents maximum safety to investors who purchase the bonds and means the city pays lower interest rates, which helps keep utility rates lower than they would be otherwise. Would you be interested in touring a landfill, recycling facility, or composting facility? Does learning about how to save energy in your home and lower your water utility costs interest you? Do you want to learn about your local watershed and wildlife and how to protect them? Then take the Sustainability Education Series online survey by May 15 so that the City's Environmental Services Division can plan for the courses you want the most. You can find the survey at www.kirklandwa.gov forward slash SES. Remember, you can access any episode of Currently Kirkland on demand on the City's website on your mobile devices, and on YouTube. We'd also love to hear from you. If you have any news tips, suggestions, or comments, please send them to kirklandtv at kirklandwa.gov. Thanks for watching Currently Kirkland. We'll see you next week.